And on your side is committed to helping our community rebound from these unprecedented times. We want to get you the information you need and hold those in power accountable. The Arizona Department of Economic Security recently shorted 130,000 people the $600 payments they'd been counting on. Now on your side's Brian Brennan has more on the error and what it meant to one man who was trying to find answers. Well, many people went online and checked between May 7th and May 11th and realized that their unemployment payments did not have that federal money that they had been expecting. DES says they're working to fix the problem, but for many, it was a shock. A weekly payment of $600 helped many people on unemployment feel a little more secure in uncertain times. It's tough when you're kind of expecting that money, you know, then it's not there. It's just like someone pulled the, pulled the rug out from underneath you. Mike McClure says he noticed his federal pandemic unemployment compensation was missing right when he had bills coming due. He tried calling for answers but couldn't get through, so he reached out to Nine on Your Side. If, if someone could answer at the DES office and say, hey, I know what you're going through, you know, or hey, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to do our best. Not having that human connection, and we're already locked up in our house, you know. Night on Your Side asked the Arizona Department of Economic Security why McClure and thousands of other Arizonans were missing their weekly payment they had been getting. DES acknowledged the error and later apologized on Twitter, saying claimants will receive the missed payments by the end of the week. McClure says he didn't find out till he saw it on the news. You know, and as of this morning, it still shows that the money was deposited. Uh, but still no message from uh, fr from the office, you know, so it's just kind of frustrating, I guess. We asked what the cause of the error was, and a spokesperson pointed to their programs requiring complicated coding. He also said it was not related to the recent launch of the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program for those who were previously denied traditional unemployment benefits. To feel like you're not being listened to really does hurt because you have no idea what's going on. McClure says he wishes there was a more direct way to find out what was going on with his account. Brian Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side. If you have a Rebound Arizona story to share, let us know at kgun9.com rebound, or you can email us at rebound at kgun9.com.